get your dance on early. Yes. We're rejoicing. Go, We're rejoicing. We're rejoicing. Glory. Ah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Welcome. Oh, glory. Welcome. 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 My shit. Glory to God. Come on, lift your hands and begin yes, to bless Lord. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At your house, begin to bless God at your house. <laughs> begin to bless God at your house. Hallelujah. Begin to bless God glory. at your house. Begin to bless God at your yes. house. Salabos. Glory. Hallelujah. Bless glory your strong God. name, Jesus. Come on, we rejoice in this morning. <laughs> glory be to our God. Bless Hallelujah. your strong name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. glory. I'm looking. I see you. I see Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. Glory. I see you. Everybody sharing this yes. morning. Let people know glory. that the household of faith is alive and yes. well. Yes. Glory. glory. God. We bless your name, Hallelujah. We bless your name, God. Hallelujah. We bless your name, God. Hallelujah. Come on, declare your hallelujah in the comments. Glory. Declare your hallelujah. Come on, declare your hallelujah. Bless your mighty name, Jesus. Bless glory. your strong hallelujah. name, Jesus. Man, we might dance up Jesus in here. Jesus is Lord. <laughs> Glory. Ooh, we might have to leave the bye. couch this morning. <laughs> we might have to get up and do yeah, a dance unto the Lord God yes. this morning. Sha -ta -ta. Blessed be his name. Yes, Lord. Oh, my, 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 yes, my, Lord. my, 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 my. <laughs> yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Have your way. Hallelujah. We're giving you a chance to get your praise on. Have I hope you're not waiting. Your way. I Glory. hope you're not yes, waiting. I hope you're not waiting. Go ahead and rejoice this morning. Go ahead yes, and rejoice. Lord. Rejoice. Yes, Lord. Yes. Let's go holding it. Glory, 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 glory. Glory to our God. I said he did. You should be started. Go with Yes, hallelujah. hallelujah. I see you saying hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead and have a good time in Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Oh, glory. It's good enough to go already. <laughs> Holy God. Hallelujah. Glory. My, Thank my, you, my. Lord. My, my, my. Thank glory. you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. <laughs> Woo. Yes, sir. Woo. Glory to hey, God. Yes. Glory, 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 glory. We have expectations today, God. We magnify your name, Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us be so exalt his name together. Oh, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, shit. We're trying to stay on the couch, right? Glory to God. Go ahead and dance a little bit for me, boo. Praise the Lord, 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 hallelujah, glory, hallelujah, boo, they just see you from the belly down, I love it, glory to God, oh, glory, 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 Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, my. Hallelujah. Well, welcome, 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 welcome. Glory to God. Oh, wasn't that good? Blessed be the name my, of the my, Lord. My, my. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. Well, welcome to Household of Faith Ministries coming from our house to your house. And we're so excited that you have joined us. Now, we want you to not get uh, get all stuffy and because yeah. you're at home. We, we can't see you in your pajamas. If you're in bed, you need to get up out of there. We're going to rejoice Lord. like we are together at the house. Glory yes. be to God. We want you to have a good time in Jesus. Glory, right? Thank you, yes. 
Thank you, Lord. Yes. Okay, so we're going to make our declarations this morning because Holy Spirit told us that we can have what we say. Amen. And he told us to declare what we want to see yes. in the service. Ooh. And just because we're not together doesn't mean that we don't want to see some stuff. Yes. We expect to see some things at your house. Yes. Do you expect to see yes. some things? Come on, if you expect to see some things at your house, go ahead and put that in in the comments, yes. I expect to see some things yes, in my house. Oh, my, yes, my, Lord, my, I'm my. I'm expecting to see some things at this. Tell you that, I'm expecting to see some things at this house. I'm pulling on the anointing. Yes, I'm sir. expecting. I came. I came expecting something to change Glory at the speed of the spirit. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. You, Hallelujah. That Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. I'm expecting. Yeah. Glory to God. I'm <laughs> expecting to see God move in my yeah. house. Yeah. I'm yeah. expecting the power of God to show up in my house right now. today. I'm expecting the glory of God to be at my house today. Now. I'm expecting Holy Ghost to move at my house today. Now. I'm looking for some people who are expecting God to do something at their house. Now. God, we extend an invitation to you to move by your spirit now. up in our house today. Ooh, glory. Now. <laughs> now. Glory right now. Like Not God. later. Now. We're talking about it now. Yes, that faith sir. is now. Yes, sir. We're releasing our faith and we're touching our faith together right now. Yes, we're pulling sir. on the anointing to bring what it is I need into my atmosphere. Yes. Atmosphere must change. Yeah. Whatever's going on right now, we speak to the atmosphere. Say, line up. Yes, sir. Line up with the word of God. Glory line up God. and be what we tell you to be. Yes, sir. Anything that's not like God, I rebuke you now forever and always. Yes, sir. Glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> Well, my God, hey, we're extending an invitation to you to enter into worship with us. We're going to spend some time in the presence of God. We want you to lift your hands like you would do if you were at the house. We want you to get on your face before God like you would do if you was at the house. We want you to run around That's like right. you would do if you was at the house. We yeah. want you to clap your hands yeah. like you would do if you was at the household yeah. of faith. We yeah. want you to jump and leap and rejoice <laughs> like you would do if you were at the household of faith. I don't know if somebody's sitting next to you, but you might want to tell them, uh, if you don't, if you don't flow with me, get what, off my rope. Get off. <laughs> So whoever you next to, whoever you next to, tell him. If you don't flow, get off my row. If it's the right. chair, tell don't, it to move. Don't block my flow now. <laughs> don't block my flow in here. Don't block my flow today. All right. So, Everything here, whatever oh, it is blocking your God. flow, tell it it must go. It must now. Go. Glory be to God. So we're gonna lift our hands and we're going straight into worship, Thank and you. we want you to worship at your house too. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, God. Bless Go ahead and open your mouth. Begin to worship. Bless you. Begin Bless to worship you. Jesus. Thank you. Lord. We thank you. And we honor you because you are so sovereign. Yes. You are king. You are Lord over all. Thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We thank you. Thank you, Lord. For endowing us with your power. Thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you for letting your spirit fall thank fresh in this place. We thank you, God, for, for allowing us to encounter your spirit today. Help us to open our eyes and see you. Help us to feel your presence. Help us to hear your voice. Help us to honor you as we approach your throne in worship. Come on now, lift up your worship. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, glory, we give you honor, Lord. Yes. You reign, you reign, you reign, you reign, you reign, and you rule over everything, over every imagination. Over, every, over everything that seeks to exalt itself against you, Lord. Yes. You reign over that. You reign, God. You reign. You reign. You reign. You reign. You reign. You reign. There is a name I love to hear. I love 
to sing its words. It sounds like music in my It's at that name that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord to the glory of God the Father. It's the name that's above every name. It's that name that's above cancer. It's that name that's above the bad report. It's that name that's above my problems. It's that name that's above my bills. That name, oh, how I love Jesus.
We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, how I love you. Oh, how I praise you. Oh, how I worship you, God. Oh, how we love you. Oh, how we praise you. Oh, how we worship you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Be magnified. Yes. Yes. In this, your holy temple. Yes, God. Yeah, yeah, but. In this, yes, your holy place. Yes, God.
in the presence of the Lord. That your desire is my desire. My desire. Why do I want to be here? Because in your presence is fullness of joy. Of joy. Worship Jesus. At your right hand yes, are pleasures forever more. And the best part is no evil. No evil. No evil. Can Your name, Lord. Bless you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My God. What an anointing. What a presence. What a, oh my. We worship you, Jesus. It's a beautiful thing that we don't have to be in the sanctuary to experience the presence of God. Because we are the sanctuary. 
So, Father, we thank you. What a privilege it is to be the temple of the living God. And we worship you this morning, God. We acknowledge your presence, God. We thank you that the wind of God is blowing into every household now. We thank you, Father, that your Holy Spirit is showing up in every room. We thank you, Father, and we worship you, almighty God. Things are changing because the atmosphere has shifted. Things are changing because the atmosphere has shifted. Things are changing because the atmosphere has shifted. My God, have mercy. Glory. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, what a bashande de de boko soto ramate kanda de Things are changing because the atmosphere is shifting. Oh, that's good. Sweet in here. Just put on something sweet and just let it flow. Um, I would say prepare your giving right in this anointing here. We still are sowers, right? Yes. We're still sowers. And we sow, we sow even in the time of famine, glory to God. And so we're encouraging you to go ahead and sow your seeds yes. even right, right now. now. Glory see, to see God. You may need to speak to your seed and tell your seed if your seed is blocking your flow, it got to go. Because what happened, the discouragement in the time we're in right now is such a time as this. This is the time you need to give. It's just as important as eating. Glory. You need to make sure you release your seed so it can get into, uh, uh, the, so the harvest can be released to you. So you got to sow a seed before you can expect the harvest. But once again, you cannot allow the times to, to impact on what you need to release the, what said leave your hand it never leaves your life right. I'm telling you now these times that will have you thinking that you need to re uh, hold back don't do it in any value you made to God be a man of your word do that Proverbs 10 22 say he maketh us rich and he addeth no sorrow to it Proverbs 11 24 say he who withhold more he that so uh, it scatters it increases more but he who withhold more than he ought to tends to poverty so make sure we don't get caught up into the situation. Remember, every distraction, you must overcome it by what? Act of obedience. Be obedient to your giving. Be obedient to what you vow to the Lord. It's very important. Do not allow fear to stop you from releasing what you need to release it to the earth to expect your harvest. I denounce fear right now, even in the giving. Lack has nothing to do with us. I got your supply. All I need is according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Glory to and there's such an anointing. I wouldn't miss this opportunity to sow a seed. You can cash at dollar sign H O F M N C. Cash at dollar sign H O F M N C. Babe, what's text? Text to give, to give is 919 267 2260. Text to give is 919 267 2260. You do not even those that's watching online, it makes sure everybody participate in this. This is very important, Glory vitally important. It, 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 this, is, this is what you need to do on a time like this. Break the back of fear. Yes. Denounce it in your giving. Denounce it in everything you do. Vitally important. My God. Wealth and riches is in your house. sowing mm -mm. I won't allow fear to stop me from planting my seed I won't allow fear to stop me from believing because my God is still the God of the harvest. I won't allow fear to stop me from sowing. I won't allow fear to 
Stop me from planting my seed. I won't allow fear to cause me to hold on to my money because my God is, He's still the God of the harvest. My God is still the God of the harvest. My God is still the God, the God of the harvest. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but sowing and reaping shall last forever as long as the earth remains seed time and harvest remains my god is still the god he's the god of the harvest He's the God of the harvest. He's the God of the harvest. He's the God of the harvest. My God is. He forever will be. Even in the midst of famine, my God, my God shall be. He's the God of the harvest. He's the God. He's the God of the harvest. He's the God of the harvest. He's the God of the harvest. He's the God. Of the harvest, he's the God of the harvest. 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 That's why I don't have to worry. I don't have to fear. I don't have to worry. I don't have to fear. I don't have to worry. I don't have to fear. He's the God of the harvest. I don't have to worry. I don't have to fear. I don't have to worry. I don't have to fear. I don't have to worry. I don't have to fear. He's the God of the harvest. I don't have to worry. I don't have to fear. I don't have to worry. He's the God. I will not fear. I will not fear. He's the God. I will not fear. I will not fear. He's the God of the harvest. He's the God. And he's my God. And he's my God. And he's my God. He's the God of the harvest. And he's my God. And he's my God, and he's my God, 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 he's the God of the harvest. Yes, he is the God of the harvest. I expect a harvest. Even in a time of famine, yes. I will not fear, I will not fear. Fear you have no authority in my life. Now, now those that's watching, you do know if you have a church home, you send your tithe to your church home, but you can always sow a seed into something that's benefiting you, something that's encouraging you. Uh, you can sow a seed into that. You make sure your tithe go to your local church, but you can sow a seed into this harvest if you're online. Listen, it's not the amount, it's the attitude. Make sure you sow into this anointing. So, listen to me. 
always sow where you're trying to go. Don't sow from where you are. Always sow from where you're trying to go. Never sow from where you are. Because if you sow from where you are, you'll stay there. But if you sow where you're trying to go, listen to me, your faith will bring you where you want your seed to rain. The prophetic is so strong in the house. I, I need to break the spirit of poverty, a poverty mindset. Poverty a broken. Yes, gosh. Poverty a broken off of our lives. Poverty a broken. Poverty a broken off of our lives. Yes. Poverty a broken. Poverty you broken off of our lives. Lack you broken. Poverty you broken. Off of my life because my God is. Yes, sir. The God of the harvest, He is. Oh, my God he is. Yes, Lord. The God of the harvest, he is. Oh, my God, he is. The God of the harvest, he is. Oh, my God, he is. The God of the harvest, he is. You can expect a return. Yes, yes, yes. You can expect miracle signs and wonders to show up at your house, to show up at your house, to show up at your house. See, learn how to receive the prophetic release. Glory to God. Holy Ghost is talking today. Receive, 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 receive. Receive, 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 receive. Yes, so be it. Amen, 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 amen. Yes, God. Angels, angels are on assignment. They're going to get some things done for you. Angels are flying through the atmosphere, accomplishing what you need done in the spirit realm. That's right. See, begin to release your words. That's right. Begin to prophesy. Yes. Prophesy to your money. Tell yes. it where to go and what to do. Yes. Tell him where to come. Right now. Glory to God. Right now. My Let's just sing in the spirit. At your house, begin to sing. Under the Ere le 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 le
You can receive your healing right now. You can receive your deliverance right now. Whatever it is that you need, you can receive it right now. The presence of God is there with you. Just receive, 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 receive. Oh my. How do we shift out of this right here? Oh God, we love you. We honor you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for your presence. We, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your presence. Begin to thank God for his presence. Let's don't become familiar with it. Let's don't take it for granted. Let's begin to thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. pray we done pray let's let our faith join together yes, we're expecting sir. to see signs wonders and miracles happen before the revelation is even released and listen to me we serve listen notice to the devil his posse all witches and warlocks that's watching you either convert or die that's your choice i would recommend <laughs> you to convert and but we do want you to see it but i'm telling you this word will come across with accuracy boldness and excellence and be unchecked by you and your posse yes. so as we do this we do this by faith not by sight we expecting to see a life changing revelation instantly will change our lives at the speed of the spirit so we're thanking our father we do this by faith not by sight let's release the revelation amen glory to god well go with us to acts chapter 20 we're going to start at verse 7 we were here last time if you were with us last sunday we were here last sunday as well and as we were seeking holy spirit for what he wanted to release today, he, he put in our hearts to go back to Eutychus. That's right. And so we're going back to Acts chapter 20, verse 7, which means that Holy Spirit has some other things yes. that he wants to show <laughs> us in the same scriptures. The same scripture. Glory be to God. You do know that there is so much revelation in one word, in just one word, boo. One. There is so much revelation that we could stay in a verse for a year That's right. and not exhaust <laughs> everything that God has to say. Amen. And so we're in Acts chapter 20, verse 7, and let's put out a warning today. Yes. We need to put out a warning. The title of today's message is Reposition Yourself. Yeah. Glory be to God. So we, we, we are not responsible for what you tear up in your home. Once <laughs> you get this word high, you flip what you tear down, but get the revelation and apply it. 
Absolutely. So get ready because we know that Holy Spirit has some things prophetically that he wants to speak unto his people. This message didn't come out of a file cabinet. No. It didn't come out of a notebook. No. It didn't come out of any place no. but out of the realm of the spirit. Fresh. Out of the realm of the spirit. So we're in Acts chapter 20 and we're starting at verse 7. Fresh download. Now, on the fifth day of the week. Uh, uh, do that again. That's the wrong day. Oh, now on the first day of the week, I'm sorry, when the disciples came together to break bread. So the disciples came together and they came on the first day. And what they come to do? To break bread. They came to break bread. Glory be uh -huh. to God. Paul, ready to depart the next day, spoke to them and continued his message until midnight. Okay, my, so, my, my, so you midnight. and I, we were talking about this. We said, okay, it's the first day of the week, and the disciples came together, and they came to break bread. Glory to God, they mm. came to break, break bread. bread. That's what we came to do today, right? We yes. came to break bread with one another. We don't have to be at the same house to break bread. Right. Come on here. Absolutely. If you got a neighbor, just tell them, break, break, we get ready to break, break bread. bread. Glory to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. share with them, tell them we finna break we're bread. We're getting ready to break bread. Hallelujah. Now, we were talking about this, but we were saying Paul, is ready to depart the next day. This was real important because here Paul is the apostle. He, he's the apostle. He's right. the leader. He's the one that God has called to release a word to the people. He's going to leave the next day. Yes. And so we were talking about it. We said it's vitally important that when there's about to be a shift. Oh, my. I feel an anointing yeah. in the room. When there's about to be a shift, when the apostle is about to go to the next place, he must make a deposit. Before there's a shift, there must be a deposit. A deposit. And can I share something with you? Now, as, a, as an apostle, you do come in. You're aware that the people are in the room, or you're aware that you are uh, uh, teaching and preaching to people. But what happened is Holy Spirit has his way. He may want you to, listen, you may come with a message for 30 minutes, but he may want you to take 45. If you're not careful, you'll come into that atmosphere and miss what you need to receive because we don't want to sit long enough to break the bread. I need to receive that's going to what? Fulfill what I need. Mm -hmm. So you got to be very intentional coming in, not in a hurry, coming in, not rushing, coming in and so much in a hurry, you'll miss the revelation that's there for you. Absolutely. And it's something because as you're talking, Holy Spirit is speaking to me and it's vitally important that you're willing for your bread to be broken. Amen. I hope somebody heard that. It's vitally important that you're willing for your bread to be broken. Right. It's the broken bread that feeds the people. Yes. It's the broken bread yes. that will feed the multitude. We can't feed the multitude if we try to hoard up the bread. <laughs> Man, God is talking already. Uh, it's vitally important that you're willing for your bread to be broken. Go ahead and t say to yourself, don't be stingy with your Bread. <laughs> and, and listen, that means your time too, because see, you may come and get your portion right away, but somebody else may not get theirs for another five minutes. Don't step on their toes or on, don't encroach on, don't encroach on their atmosphere because you got yours and they didn't get this. Be patient. You may be another revelation in it for you also. However, you can hinder it. You can hinder it Glory. by the distraction. Oh, my, 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 my. It's the broken bread that will feed the multitude. Absolutely. So you got to be willing to allow your bread to be broken. Man, Holy Ghost is talking to us already. So here is Paul. He's the apostle. He's, he's going to leave on the next day. It's vitally important that he makes a deposit in the people, yes. makes a deposit in the disciples before he shifts. I love this right here, what Holy Spirit's saying already, right? There must be a deposit made before the shift. Don't shift without your deposit. And see, sometimes you don't understand, oh, glory. How, you won't understand the assignment that the, that the person is delivering a message has. I could come in with one intention, but if he gave me an assignment, you don't know what the assignment is that I have. So I got to make sure I strategically deliver that message so that the assignment that the Holy Spirit sent me to do is accomplished. So your 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 intentions may be I came and got mine, no more my four. But if the assignment say I sit here and teach until he say that's enough, then at that point you need to be able to sit Break bread until we say, okay, the full loaf is broken. Everybody has received what they received. And we all, what, leave as one whole, what, body. 
awesome because the bread is not just for your it's house. Not for you. Oh, I wish somebody it's would you. declare that. The bread is not just for my house. It must be broken. It must be dispersed. <laughs> it's yes. time out for stingy yes. believers. We must break the bread. Glory to God. And a broken bread is so that we can feed other people. Other people. It's time for us to feed other people. Don't just store up what God is saying to you and you keep it in your house. God said, break the bread and serve it. Right. Glory be right. to God. And can I share this with them? When we say breaking bread, now you know we see a natural uh, uh, a loaf of bread. But now this is breaking bread to those that did never heard about the things of God or may have heard it, but no one brought them in to this atmosphere so they can hear what you're hearing, so they can be delivered also. When we say breaking bread, we're talking about making discipleships, telling them about Disciple. the great name, making disciples, talking about the great name of Jesus, so that they come and do what and be the same way you are. They want to be, they need to be part of this family. So you got to share the good gospel with them and bring them in so they can get a taste of this bread we're talking about. So don't just look at the natural loaf of bread. We're talking about discipleship. Absolutely. Jesus is the living bread. Absolutely. He's the living bread. So we're in Acts chapter 20, verse 7, and Holy Spirit told us, he said, reposition yourself. That's the title for today. I see new people coming on. Reposition yourself. Glory be to God. So, babe, would you start verse 7 one more time? Yes. Now, on the first day of the week, when the disciples came together to break bread, Paul, ready to depart the next day, spoke to them and continued his message until midnight. He kept talking. He <laughs> kept talking until midnight. Ryan, Deacon Ryan, he was talking until midnight. <laughs> midnight. He was making a deposit <laughs> that was vitally important, important for the disciples to hear until midnight. He was making a deposit. Why? Because he's about to make a departure. Uh, that's right. And before the uh, the apostle, the apostolic anointing to, can go, there must be a deposit in the rest of the house. So before there's a shift, there must be a, a deposit. deposit. Holy Spirit already said to us, don't shift without your deposit. Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> don't leave the place until Glory. you receive what Holy Spirit wants to download inside of your spirit. I'm declaring it again. Don't shift without your deposit. Oh, God, it's going to get better yes. up in here. Okay, Acts 20 and verse 8. There were many lamps in the upper room where they were gathered together. So do that again. There were many lamps in the upper room where they were gathered together. So you and I were talking about this, and I was like, boo, there, there, every word in the word of God, God has purpose yes. for it. I said, God, why was it necessary for us to know that they had many lamps in the upper room? Oh, Glory to God. Why was it necessary for us to know that there were many lamps in the upper room? Please, somebody say, it was well lit. It was well lit. <laughs> Glory <laughs> be to God. The room, the upper room was well lit. Why is that important? You're going to see. Why was that so important? God's setting us up, right? He said the disciples, they came together to break bread. Paul the apostle is about to depart. He's speaking unto them his message until midnight. Glory mm -hmm. to God. Mm -hmm. uh, the message, the message needs to be declared and you need to, oh, I don't want to go over there yet. Right? Go. And so, uh, Notice the upper room was well lit. The light was in the room. Yes. The light was in the room. The light was in the room where they were gathered together. Okay, verse 9, boo. And in the window sat a certain young man named Eutychus, Eutychus who was sinking into a deep sleep. Wait a minute. So we, we kind of talked about Eutychus last time, but Holy Spirit's releasing more revelation. Holy Spirit, you're the teacher. Holy Spirit, you're the teacher. Holy Spirit is the teacher. Somebody might want to declare that. I hope you're pulling on the anointing, yes. right? Don't you dare sit here and watch this service like you watching Netflix. Ooh, you better pull on the anointing of God. You got to, don't you dare sit here and watch this like you watching something on your television. This is the anointing. You got to pull on the anointing. Okay, so here's Paul the apostle. He's leaving the next day. He's making a deposit into the people. He, they came together to break bread. We know the room is well lit. Now here's, oh, here's Eutychus. He's sitting, boo. Sit. Where is he sitting? By the window. He's sitting in a window. In the window and listen, <laughs> go, listen, into a deep sleep, sinking into a deep sleep. Well-lit room, he's sinking into a deep sleep. Yeah, so we were thinking, man, we got to go back. Holy Spirit said, go back and look at Eutychus. He's sitting in a window. 
the word is going forth. The apostle Paul is making a deposit. See, if you don't value the word, you'll miss your deposit. Amen. Oh, I hope somebody heard that. If you don't value the word, you'll miss your deposit. And so here's Eutychus. He's sitting in a window. Notice he's a certain young man. Certain young man. A certain young man, which means he could have been anybody. Mm -hmm. He's sitting in a, in a window. And the scripture said, who was sinking into a deep sleep. I said, boo, we were evaluating this. Uh, that lets me know there was a process of time he was sinking into a deep sleep. He wasn't sleep at first. Right, right. He was sinking. Well, yeah, sinking into a deep sleep, that's a progress. It progressed to you start out and it progressed to where it get deep. So you start out and at some point you can control it and then as it go, it progresses to where it gets heavier and heavier on you. Heavier and heavier on you. So we were saying... If sinking is a process, Eutychus could have caught himself. Yes. <laughs> what are we talking about? Uh, reposition yourself. Mm -hmm. And I was like, babe, the church is sinking mm. into a deep sleep. Oh, good God have mercy. The church is sinking into a deep sleep. Uh, what are we talking about? Sinking and still having service. Mm -hmm. Sinking and still the word is going forth. Sinking. Notice the word was still going forth. The apostle is still preaching. Right. And he's sinking into a deep sleep. Sitting in the room but sinking. Yes. In the sanctuary but sinking. In the presence of the apostolic but sinking. In the presence of the sent one but sinking. Hearing the word in the room but I'm sinking. Reposition yourself, Reposition. Holy Spirit said. In a well-lit room and, and well sleeping. Yeah. It ain't even dark and he's oh, yeah. sinking. Yeah, so Holy Spirit said we got to be intentional about what we listen and what type of atmosphere we create when we're sitting into an atmosphere and hearing the word of God come forth. Because the atmosphere you create is what would distract what come to you. If you don't create an atmosphere to welcome the word of God and accept it, you'll create an atmosphere for something else. Something will come to you. But you got to be intentional what type of atmosphere you set around your setting, what will come to you. Because it's in the room. The, the anointing is in the room and it is there to serve your purpose. But if you don't pull on it, it sits in the room. It just won't find you. My God. So the, that's why Holy Spirit let us know that there were many lamps in the room. Because the room was well lit. Well lit. And he was still sinking, sinking. into a deep sleep. sleep. But what you tell me about a deep sleep? Well. A deep sleep. See, one thing about a deep sleep, when you get into a deep sleep, you, you, you're so deep in a sleep. Do you know when, when they do an operation, they say, we're going to put you under. <laughs> when they put you under, that's what's considered a deep sleep. You will not feel anything, but you can have, hear everything going on. And when they bring you back to your normal self, you be talking out your mind. You don't know why the sleep was so deep. You don't know nothing you were saying, but you could even hear them talk, but feel don't feel anything. A deep sleep is when they put you under if they finna do an operation. My God. And uh um I know you know I sleep in a deep sleep. Yeah, the sure, next you do pretty <laughs> The next day, I, I go, it was raining. <laughs> it was thundering, right, uh, in a deep sleep. Uh, so when Holy Spirit's telling, he's letting us know something, Eutychus, he's sitting in the room. He's in the sanctuary where the word is being preached. The apostolic anointing is in the place. The, the anointing to send is in the place. Yes. See, you'll miss the sending anointing. You could be in the room and miss the sending anointing. You miss the anointing to go break bread with other people because you're in the window and you're sinking into a deep sleep. Yes. I was like, oh, the church, the church of the living God is sinking into a, a deep, deep sleep. sleep. Wake up, church. Wake up. Wake up. Wake Reposition up. yourself. And so, man, and then what's the scripture? You want to start that verse 9 yes. again? Yes. And in the window sat a certain young man named Eutychus who was sinking into deep sleep. He was overcome by sleep. Wait a minute. He was overcome by sleep now. It just took him over. Well, the distraction. 
whatever caused him to get into to start the sleeping uh, 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 anointing he had at that point. It pulled him in so much the distraction became more uh, 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 powerful than the word. Why you it was distracted with the sleep and you start to entertain in it. Now the power of the sleep came and overtook him because why he entertained it. Had he intentionally got up, get up, walk, reposition stand, himself, reposition something, get up, walk, sit on the end of the chair, sit where you know if you're not, you're gonna bump your head. Do something to what resist the distraction. Yeah, he went into a deep sleep. Uh, that means he wasn't like, okay, because we all been in service. I've been in service myself, right? Been in service, and I'm intentionally, I'm trying my best, right? And I'm nodding a little bit. Every, everybody been where we've yeah. nodded a little bit. He said he was sinking into a, a deep, deep sleep. sleep. Then he was over. He was overwhelmed. He was overcome by the sleep. It took him over. Oh. He yielded to that yeah. sleep. You know when you drop your Bible five times and you're sitting there, it's time to get up. You yeah. didn't do it two times. You know you done did it four times. Oops, like the Bible. It's time to reposition yourself. You done dropped the Bible five times. So you know after the first two times, I hey, listen, this is not working. Yeah. Get up. Walk to the back. Go to the foyer. Go to the bathroom. Get some water. Splash yourself. You need at that time reposition yourself. Reposition yourself. You do what's necessary to keep yourself awake. I hope somebody heard that. You do whatever is necessary to keep yourself awake. Again, you do whatever is necessary to keep yourself awake. The Spirit of God said the church is like Eutychus. We're sinking into a deep sleep. Reposition yourself. Uh, I love it. You told me, you said if you feel yourself starting to fall asleep, you may sit, sit at the edge of the chair. I get at the edge of the chair. And listen, I get at the edge of the chair so that if I nod, I'm going to fall. So you don't, you're not going to get embarrassed. Then I get up. I don't want to distract nobody else. They say, what you doing? I say, I need to reposition myself because if I'm, sit, I'm comfortable. So now I need to sit on the edge. I move all the way up to the edge where any nod or any fall, somebody got to get me. And then we go to line. Somebody nudge you say, Yo, okay, yeah, I'm good. You, no, you're not. You, you, don't want them to, you don't want them to bring the attention that you finna miss something. So we're just saying, it. no, I'm good. No, you're not. You're nodding. So when we keep hunching you this way, why you keep bothering me? We trying to help you. So we don't even want help because, the, listen, I, I told my wife last week, the uh, Holy Spirit told her the church will be in a lullaby. Am I saying it right? Yes, sir. To sleep. If you're not careful, a lullaby, he takes the baby and rock him in his arm and you just get so comfortable you forget you're at church. Yeah. Really, because you, you done came in there with the intention of, I'm just going to church to get me my attendance. Yeah, the Spirit of God said that the church is being lullabied to sleep by entertainment. There's an entertainment spirit that has come into the church. Oh, I know mm -hmm. some of y'all not going to like that. <laughs> but Holy Spirit said there's an entertainment spirit that has come into the church. Yes. We come into church and we're entertained now. We just sit back like we watching a show, oh. like you at Broadway or something. <laughs> yeah. Right? We're not participating. We become spectators. And yeah. a spectator spirit will cause you to sink into a deep sleep. Yeah. You ain't on Broadway. You better come and get a life. Boy. You better come and get someone you can live. You better come and go. Listen, this, the enemy is not playing. Listen, he's not playing with the church. I'm telling you today, listen, the enemy come to kill, steal, and destroy. A lot of parts say, but I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. But you can only have life when you take the things that he tells you and our teachers us uh, to where we could sustain in this life because he already know what's coming. So when he try to do the preparation page, if you skip the preparation page, page, you cannot get the operation. If you go for an operation and you miss the pre-op, cancel it. So if you do not get the preparation, you cannot receive the operation. And the preparation was the download from Paul. Absolutely. Uh, the word of the Lord was the preparation for the season. And you and I were talking, and I said, boo, uh, I believe those of us at Household of Faith have been prepared for this season. Absolutely. Coronavirus so. should oh. not have shifted anybody, anybody. from the house. Uh -uh. Uh, for the last five weeks or so, Holy Spirit has released a word to this house. Uh, sit in the seat. Think from the seat. That's right. Everything God began to download to us how to operate from our delegated position of authority. So there's no reason. I didn't hear Holy Spirit say sink in the sea. No, he didn't. And, and not only that, listen, we're not talking as it's not that's not Pastor William and Donna Porter. That was Mr. Holy Ghost released. And then guess yes, what? Sir. If you I don't know how long you've been in your house, but if you have not denounced or killed coronavirus in your atmosphere already, then you behind. You pose <laughs> to kill it, speak to 
to it. Hey, go and die. Listen, you can't live on me. You can't live by me. You can't live around me. I kill you at the root. You have nothing to do with my life. If you haven't done that yet, you're already behind. That should have been the first thing you did as soon as they announced it. I killed it so quick when I hear him on the radio, and I don't even know what they be talking about. Because <laughs> when you kill something, you don't revisit that. It's just dead. It's no longer a part of me. So anything that you have not denounced or killed it at, and you and don't dab and play with it, kill it at the root. That's what he did with the fig tree. Oh, my God. Speak to it, and it dies. Speak to it and move on. Amen. Okay, so read verse 9, and I'm going I'm to try to let you go all the way through. How all right, I'm going to okay. try, honey. Hallelujah. Acts 20 and 9. In, in a window sat a certain young man named Eutychus, who was sinking into a deep sleep. He was overcome by sleep, and as Paul continued speaking, he fell down from the third story and was taken up dead. Wait now, a minute. What, babe? He, third, he, he fell down. He fell down from the third, listen, the third f story and was taken up dead. Now, you do know when you came up there, you're sitting you up three, f you on the third story, you know you're sitting by the window. How do you get into a deep sleep? You do know no, if you tip. you're not sitting by the window. Oh, you're, you're sitting, sitting in, in the now, window. Now, that's even, you're sitting in the window. <laughs> How do you fall into a deep sleep and not know you're finna kill yourself? In the window. That's just, you done got off focus from everything. In the window. You're sitting in the window, so anywhere you go, if you tilt back, you falling three stories down. Now, how do you get that distracted? My God, that was a great question. How did we get that distracted? How? Is the church in the window and the word of God is going forth. The apostolic anointing is there. It's about to sh make a shift. And we there's a download and a deposit that God wants to make in our lives. And we're sitting in a window, sinking into a deep <laughs> sleep. I'm hollering again, reposition you yourself. Position yourself. Don't allow yourself to sink into a deep sleep. Deep sleep. You take authority over the, your thought life. You take authority over That's your right. flesh. That's you right. take authority over the things that are trying to come after you. Don't you dare have a deep sleep. That's right. And don't you allow this mess they got going on in the atmosphere now to push you out of no window. You can <laughs> sit Go you away. can sit in the window and not have no deep sleep, don't have no worry. See, now deep sleep is other things come with that. Don't you allow mm -hmm. the, the, the media to push you out the window where you, what, fall three stories and die. My because God. if you're not careful, you can be spiritually dead in the natural. Because why? We so hooked up with the natural, we didn't even go and consider what the spirit man would say. So make sure you don't allow this mess they talking about, the it, the him, the them, to push you out of the window. My God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I won't fall out the window. I'm not doing I, I won't yield to the, the spirit of sleep, the spirit of deep sleep. I'm not going to do no. it. And so Holy Spirit has us today to holler out to the church to reposition yourself. Reposition yourself. Wake yourself up, church. Right. Wake yourself up. I can feel myself becoming lethargic. I can feel myself yielding over That's to that. Right. I've heard so much of the media that all of a sudden I'm starting to right. become comatose <laughs> to to what the, the, what's going on in the man, situation. Shit. You better wake yourself up. Reposition yourself. Shift to another place. Yes. Shift to another place. Shift to another direction. I got to move. I can't stay in this location. So shabbat, oh, my God. Oh. And he fell out the window, out the window. Hey, from the third from story. From the third story. And listen, and he fell down from the third story and was taking up dead. Oh, my God. Next verse say, but Paul went down fell on him and embracing him said, do not trouble yourself for his life is in him. I love it. Paul went down. <laughs> I, I hope somebody's seeing it. Here, here, he's got an assignment. He's he's trying to That's make right. a deposit That's into right. the people. He's going to depart on tomorrow. But because Eutychus fell, uh, Paul stopped doing what he was doing. Now we got to go get Eutychus. What's he doing? He's breaking bread. Breaking bread. My God. Somebody's got to go get Eutychus. Eutychus, last week, Holy Spirit said to us, who is willing to stop on their assignment to go get Eutychus? Eutychus. The world is Eutychus right, right now. That's right. The world needs you to come out. Come from the third story. Come on, church. That's right. Come up from off that high place. Come down and get Eutychus. That's right. Somebody needs you to fall on them. That's Somebody right. needs you to embrace them. Somebody needs the 
love of God that's inside yes. of you. Somebody needs the bread that you broke. Bro. Yeah, see, we do need to dial 911, but Psalm 91 and 1, he who abideth under the shadow of the Almighty. So, so we got to go get those that's not under that shadow and bring them in. See, in the natural, you will call 911 and tell them to come get him, take him to the hospital, do what you need to do. But in the spiritual, we got to do what? That person was in there breaking bread with us. We need to continue to what? Deliver him. So what we have to do now, we have to go out, break this bread with those who don't know, and we do what? Psalm 91 and 1. That is still 911, but we are abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. We do not, we do not operate in any other spirit. We operate in the Holy Spirit. So, so anything that else come, we must denounce it. Yes, sir. At the root and then operate on the Psalm 91 and 1. Our world's task today is to go and get those who's running scared who do not know and bring them under the shadow of the Almighty. You can't go down if you're afraid of the dead. Oh, oh, somebody heard. You can't go down if you're afraid of the dead. Um, we need some people from the church of the living God to yes. not be afraid of the dead. Right. Uh, you you got you got the Holy Ghost on side inside of you. You got the anointing on your life. You can't be afraid of the dead. Just Somebody's got to go down and get you to kiss. Yes. Glory to God. Somebody's got to be willing. He he did not. He didn't only just go down and say you to kiss. Get up. He no. fell he on fell him. Up. And it, it, if you if you go and touch somebody today, you may have the whole state coming after you. I'm just telling you. But uh, to elbow, hit him with your fist. So, but see, see, he had to listen. He laid on him. So some people you may have to go and touch and embrace to bring them into this atmosphere. But guess what? You are covered. God got you covered. If that's your assignment, please do it. Don't allow fear for you to not do what you was assigned to do. Man, it's so good. So Paul went down. He fell on him. And embracing him said, this is important. You can't just fall on him. You can't just embrace him. You got to speak something into yes, it. You got to declare something. He said, do not trouble yourselves. Mm. <laughs> don't, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Don't get into fear. Uh, I know you see things dying. I know you see things dying. I know you don't see no groceries on the shelves. Yeah. I know you don't. Yeah. I know you can't figure out about work. But he said, do not trouble yourselves. Do not trouble yourselves. Why? For his life is in him. Wait a minute. I said, boo. Uh, the scripture just said he was taken up dead. <laughs> he was taken up dead. He was taken up dead. But Paul didn't say he was dead. Paul declared his life is in yeah. him. What, what Paul went to... Paul went and called those things to be not as though it was. The man was dead. That's already happening. But he grabbed him and said, no, he ain't. He changed the atmosphere. Why? <laughs> he called a dead man alive. You see what he said? Yes. First of all, he said in the first part when he said, uh, 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 um, um, do not be troubled. That do mean, listen, you don't already talk to fear. You tell everybody else, don't, don't do that. Why? He don't need no fear pulling on what he's getting ready to do. He yeah. need everybody, if you can't believe, shut up and just line up. Don't say nothing. But what he did was at that moment, he said what? He spoke to him and said, his life, what? His life is his in him. Life is in him. He called those things to be not as though they were. The man was dead. He acknowledged that. They said it. But what did he call it right away? Call those things to be not as though they were. His life is in it. His life is in him. Glory be to God. So uh, don't you trouble about anything. The Spirit of God's talking to you. Don't you trouble about anything. Don't you trouble about anything. Fear and worry is not your place. No. Fear and worry is not where you reside. You are seated Oof. in Christ in heavenly places. <laughs> Don't leave your seat. Yeah. Don't you leave your seat. You're not sitting in the window sinking. That's right. Right? So don't trouble yourself. Why? Life is still in you. You're you sitting in God. the window chilling. You don't be, you know, listen, seriously, worrying and all that other stuff. Listen to me. It could be as small as you can get it, but it's, listen, it's sin. It's on the opposite side. And listen to me. When you get time, you go to Shikoraba. You go to Isaiah, uh, uh, Shepi, 43, 5 or 6. And it tells you, you can be, I'm sorry, Acts 2 and 1. In some translation, it says you was uh, 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 dead in your sins and trespasses. But if you go to the good word, it says you can be spiritually dead. The word say it. It's worded. You can be spiritually dead. What would that tell us? Your spirit can die if you allow it. My God. So he said, do not trouble yourselves, for his life is in him. Now, Acts 20, verse 11. And it said, now, 
when he had come up, he broken bread and eat and talked, I'm sorry, and talked a long while, even till daybreak he departed. Wait a minute. So now when he had come up, glory be to God. He came back up to the third story. The third story. He came back up to the third story. Uh, this is such a great word right now because things may, may be down. They may look like they fell dead. But the apostle spoke. He said life is still in them. And he came back up to the third, to story. The third story. I need you to understand something. Everything about your life is coming back up. Yeah. Glory be to God. Everything about your life is coming back up. Uh, it may look like it's dead. Oh, come on here. <laughs> It may look like it's dead, but everything in your life is coming back up. Oh my, and, and my, listen my, to my. this. Listen to this now. now, now oh my shit. Listen, do you know that if there's something dead in your life right now, you don't wait for no apostle to do that. You are the apostle. You, your prophet, speak to what's dead in your life and tell it right now to come back alive. That what am I talking about? The it, whatever it is, the fear, whatever it is right now you haven't spoken to right now, speak life into it. You got resurrection power in your voice. You are your own apostle first, and then he'll give you an apostle that'll teach you how to operate in your uh, calling but you are your own apostle and your prophet speak to what's dead in your life and give it resurrection power how by what you say speak to it and it'll live glory to god <laughs> speak to it and it will live so he said now when he had come up had broken bread and eaten glory to god and talked a long while <laughs> here what happened now the apostle is continuing to release the revelation <laughs> why is. revelation is necessary <laughs> for where you're going That's somebody right. better here reposition yourself so that you can hear the word of the lord there is a word there is a word there is a word from god yes. that will get you to your destination yes sir. Oh, yes sir. and then Listen to me, you, we can sit here and teach this all day, but until you release it out of your mouth, it won't work in your atmosphere. I can sit here, we can teach it, we can preach it, we can get it, but until you release it out of your mouth, the action is not working for you. It must come from the prophet or the apostle, your mouth, because your spirit know your voice, and guess what? It line up to what you say. I could say it all day, but until you release it, it won't operate for you. So listen to me, reposition. Reposition your seat. Reposition what you say. Reposition what you do. Reposition take a lot. It got a lot of things going on with it, but you must do them all. Glory to God. So now when he had come up, had broken bread and eaten, and talked a long while, even till daybreak, daybreak, I need somebody to understand something. Paul went back to his assignment. <laughs> Glory right, we cannot allow uh, uh, an interruption to cause you to forget your assignment, dear mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Reposition yourself and get back on your post. Reposition yourself and get back in your position. Reposition yourself, get back to doing what God has called you to do. Corona cannot oh. stop us from doing <laughs> our assignment. What did we do? We just repositioned ourselves. Glory to God. I, I you got to reposition I, I, yourself. I, 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 it, it won't cause the church to stop having church. We must reposition ourselves. We had to reposition the way we thought about how to do ministry. That's right. There's a new way to do ministry. That's right. You got to reposition yourself. There's a new way to get things on your table. That's right. Reposition That's yourself. Right. Right. So your job may have ended. <laughs> reposition yourself. Start your own business. Reposition Position yourself. yourself. And, and not only that, listen to me, when we reposition mean this, you do something different. Anytime, the okay. corona is a distraction. With every distraction, you must do an act of obedience. What do we mean by that? Do something that Holy Ghost told you to do. In this story, when the gentleman fell out the window, what did the apostle do? He stopped teaching, went down and spoke life back into the young man, yeah. came back up. All this is an act of obedience to the distraction. Falling out the window was a distraction because he had to go now and correct that. Then come back, get back on the obedient path. What did I come to do? What did he do? He overcame the distraction with obedience and then got back on his assignment and guess what? Everything including God was pleased. The gentleman got up and was, listen, not dead at all. So he spoke <laughs> resurrection power into him. Do that in your situation and guess what? It'll line up, get up, and do what it's supposed to do. Your job is not your source. Listen, God is your source. So don't you allow that distraction, even with the job, even with the money. Guess what? God is able to do what you need him to do. Speak it and receive it. Amen. Re 
reposition yourself. Oh, just go ahead and holler. I will reposition I myself. Will I will reposition myself. I will reposition myself. I will reposition myself. I will reposition myself. I will not allow myself to sink into sleep. Glory to God. I will reposition myself. Uh, oh, so what? So things look like, things look like they're closing. I will create a way. Listen, you got favor with God and with men. Do you know you could speak something in the atmosphere and listen to me? God will make the job, make a position that they don't even have for you. He'll give you a position you don't qualify for. If you will listen to me and speak what I'm telling you, God is the one promote and demote. He'll give you the, the, the company's vice president job if that's what he need to do. And the vice president, what you doing? I'm coming, sir. Get your stuff out. My stuff is coming in because your, your, your time is over. If you believe, can you believe? Listen to me. God promote and demote. You speak to the atmosphere. They'll create a position with you. You got favor with God and with men. Operating. Yeah, and for some of you, you've been in a you've been in a stalemate. You've been sinking so long. You've been in that position so long. You've you've become familiar with it. You've gotten too comfortable. Oh, uh, God, God is shifting some stuff. God is shaking some things up. God, see, uh, you've been complaining. You've been complaining about your job, and so now, and so now, and so now, you're gonna step out and do the thing that God has called you to do because you. You are creative. Oh, you are created by the creator to be creative. That came from Donna Isa. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. What? You are created by the creator to be creative. This is this is the season for the church of the living God to get a plan from God, to get a pattern from God. Don't you dare sink into a deep sleep. Reposition yourself for greatness. Okay. And see, deep sleep, listen, deep sleep means anything that pertains into your life, if you're not focused on it, if you're not intentional about it, you're in a deep sleep with it. That whether it's your job, whether it's creating a business, whatever you're supposed to be doing, the call that God have on your life, if you're not doing it, you're in a deep sleep, which means you got your eyes open, you see yourself walking, but you are still in a deep sleep because you're not doing the things of God that he assigned you to do. And the first thing is discipleship. Go tell somebody about the same thing you and I know so that they can come and get under this umbrella because the Corona should not take them out either, but they run and scared. That's me and your job to go and denounce fear and say, listen to me. I speak life to you. Come and do this. Share this. Share this. They need this message in a time like this. This is what they need. This is what's going to sustain them just like it's sustaining you. Man, the spirit of God um, just really showed me something, right? You sinking into a deep sleep took the apostle off of his assignment. Yes. Now we got to go and pick you up. <laughs> See, that shouldn't have to happen. Uh, you should be mature enough to reposition yourself. Man, I'm talking to somebody, right? Don't cause the leadership to have to come get you. Don't cause the leadership to stop from their assignment to have to come get you. I'm talking to mature believers. I'm not talking about babies. I'm talking to those of you that have been in the window. You've been in the window way too long. You've been in a window till you done got stiff. You've been in a window until you forgot how to do anything else. I need you to get out of the window and reposition yourself today so the apostle can continue on the assignment. Everybody shouldn't be a Eutychus. I, My God. I, I didn't okay. want to do it. Honey. So here we Let me read this, though. You done said it now. I got to read this. You done said it now. I was trying to just go on it and be nice with it. But now you said it. It's Hebrews 7. Hebrews 7 and Bashiko Rabba Baba. It says this. You got to pull your mic up too much. Okay, I'm sorry. Hold on. Glory be to I got to read this Thank now. You, I, I was trying not to do it. Thank you, Lord. Let's go to 13. I'm going to read it. You don't have to go to it. But this is what this said. I'm sorry. I, I don't went all off there. But listen, listen to this. It says, Hebrews 13 and 17, Obey those who rule over you and be submissive, for they watch out for your soul. Okay. And those who must give account, let them do so with joy and not with grief, for that would be unprofitable for you. For you. For you. For you. Uh -huh. You go read it when you get home. Uh, yeah, yeah, Proverbs 13 and 17. You read it when you get home. Read it till you get it. Now, it says if, 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 if it's not joyful, it's unprofitable for you. My God. Ooh, so don't, don't, don't be a Eutychus, right, unnecessarily. Um, that's for babes. You should wake up 
reposition yourself today. Okay, Acts 20 and verse 12. Acts 20 and verse 12. And they brought the young man, that's Eutychus, in alive. And they brought the young man in alive. And they were not a little comforted. I had to read that verse in uh, several different translations so I could understand, and they were not a little comforted. Uh, th they were very excited about it. They were rejoicing because though th the one that was dead has been resurrected. Uh, life was put back in yes. him, and he was brought yes. back. He was brought back to here so they could continue the assignment of the apostle. Yes. So what are we saying to you today? What is Holy Spirit saying to you today? Reposition yourself. Yes. Just because all of this is going on <laughs> doesn't mean I go along with what's going, uh, going on. That's right. Uh, reposition the way you think. Reposition uh, the, 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 the thoughts, the ideas yeah. that you had. Uh, so what? So what? You can't, you can't go to work. So what? You can write a book. So what? So what? So what? So what? You can't, you can't. There's some places that they say you can't go, but there's some things that you can do. You can do. There's some things that have been down on the inside of you that you've been procrastinating on anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God has presented an opportunity. Dear God, boo, if, if the church of the living God would look at this as an opportunity. That's right. Here's an opportunity for you to reposition yourself. Good God. Reposition yourself so that you can come up to the higher level. Reposition yourself so that you're not depending upon uh, some other boss to send you a check. Reposition yourself so that you can, will have your own employees. Yes. You won't be an employee. You will have employees. Reposition yourself. Yes, yeah, see, and the enemy's so clever. He'll come to have you and us so distracted on what's going on, we forget what the word says about us. Psalm 91, Psalm 91 and 7 say, a thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it should not come near you. Why would you bring something that don't supposed to be near you into your situation? It, it, it don't it don't pertain to you. So we getting focused and distracted on something that have nothing to pertain to us. If we would study the word, if we would go and just drown in the word, the word would tell us if we're not doing something that's positive, but it's built by spiritual man with this time, what, what are we doing? You're sleeping because we don't pose to get caught up in the things of the world. But you just said if it come not, it can't come not you and I. So we can pick and choose what we allow in our space. So why not allow something that's going to be what help you? spiritually and not continue to continue to deep sleep because we focusing on the wrong thing the word already said it can't come nigh us why would you take possession of something that you don't even supposed to have glory to god reposition yourself somebody needs to shift a little bit hey come on let's yeah. shift a little bit i need reposition. you to do it do it in the natural just shift a little bit just change your position change your position change your position change your position reposition yourself set yourself yes. up for success set yourself up for come on set yourself up for greatness <laughs> don't allow don't allow your stuff to be connected yes. to somebody else anymore Amen. could god have mercy Amen. i feel the spirit of god man the prophetic anointing is so strong there are those of you there are those of you you've been attached to a company too long and the spirit of god said reposition yourself set yourself up that when things shut down you still running yeah, glory yeah, to yeah, god yeah, yeah. you it's still flowing you still got an income an overflow coming into your life yeah. reposition yourself get a plan get a plan get a vision come on during this season don't allow this season to be a sleeping season <laughs> don't allow Amen. this season to be a sinking season allow this season allow the creativity of god to come up out of yeah. Your spirit begin to write down a vision. Somebody better get a vision in this season. Reposition yourself. Yes, 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 yes. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. And earlier he's told us, listen to me, the way you give your way out of this situation is what you sow, sow, sow. And as you're sowing, what happens is in the next, listen, when you come out of this, you're gonna be so far ahead. 
head, but you sow. Whether you sow spirit, sow your seed, sow, your, sow the word, sow. Sow it to somebody else. Every time you sow the word to somebody else, expect you and harvest. God will reward you for that. Listen, why? Because you are sharing the good oh, news. That is what we should be doing even in this time. We should be sowing the good word, not sleeping on it. Because, listen, the world is watching you and I to see how you and I operate in this situation. Don't you sleep during this season. So the Holy Spirit's talking to the church. Reposition yourself. Yes. Take advantage of this season. Make some adjustments. Make some changes. Make some adjustments. Make some changes. God is talking. Make some adjustments. Make some changes. 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 Reposition yourself. Reposition yourself. Don't allow yourself yes. to sink into a deep sleep. Father, we thank you. We thank you now, God, for the word that you have spoken unto us, your people. Father, first of all, we repent for being in a position too long. We've gotten stiff. We're not moving. We're not doing the things that you called us to do. And God, you are speaking. You are sending words to your people. And we have been sinking. We ask you, oh God, to forgive us. We are repositioning ourselves. We are taking back our authority. We are taking back the seat that you called us to be in. We are taking back our health. We are yes. taking back our prosperity. Yes. We are taking back the land and the territory that you gave us, God. We are taking back the heavens, God. Yes. We are seated in our position. We are seated in our seat, God, and we will not sink. Nor will we sleep. We thank you now, God. I thank you, Father, for the creativity of God that will flow into your people in this season. I declare new ideas, new businesses, new ventures, new ways of doing ministry. I declare it. I call it out of the atmosphere into their lives. I thank you now, God. I thank you now, God. The greatest inventor of all, King Jesus. As your people get in your presence during this season, new assignments will be released unto your people. We're getting up and we're going back to the third story, God. We're going to the heaven where you and the angels abide. We're going back to our seat right next to you, God. Seated in Christ Jesus. We thank you for the creativity. <laughs> Coco. We thank you for the creativity. We thank you for the creativity. We thank you for the creativity. We thank you, oh God. Every invention on the earth came out of the realm of the yes. spirit. There's nothing, there's nothing uh, new under the sun. There's nothing, God, that's been created that you didn't already have the pattern for. God, everything that's about to be created, you already have it. Glory to God. So, Father, as we tap into you, we will be so far ahead. I thank you right now, God. Because in the realm of the spirit, we can be in the future today oh my god in the realm of the spirit we can be in the future today in the realm of the spirit we can be in the future today god will release things to you that men don't even understand yet god will show you things that haven't yet even come into the earth you just gotta expect that I will not sink, and I will not sleep. Now, babe, lead people to Jesus. 
Well, now, if you're on this line and you are not part of the family, if you're not saved, uh, we offer that. We extend that to you now. And you just ask God, listen, forgive me for my sins. Come into my life and be Lord of your life. If you do that and you sincerely believe that, you are saved. Get into a Bible teaching church like we taught today. If you're in the Raleigh area, most certainly you can join us every Every, every Sunday, 1030, we do this Facebook Live. And wherever you are, get into a Bible teaching church. Even consider, pray, you get and consult Mr. Holy Ghost. See if you would have your partner with a Household of Faith Ministry. You can partner with us, what we call Internet Partner. Internet Partner means, listen, you may have a local church and you may be in Hawaii, but you can participate with us, partner with us, and what happens is you pray for us, uh, you sow into this ministry to help push the vision and what we do we pray for you daily and we send you gifts periodically once a month we send you something and and basically saying thank you for partnership partnership do have its uh is privilege so partner with us be considered on that and once again if you did that prayer welcome to the family it's a party going on for you because of the step you just took amen and if you want to become an eye partner, we call it an eye partner, go to hofmnc.org. Click where it says partnership. Fill out the new partner info form. It's going to come straight over to us. That doesn't mean you become a member of this church. It means you want to sow into this vision. You want to be connected to this assignment. And every single day, we pray over you. We have a list with names on it of all the partners and I partners. And we pray over you daily. We make that covenant with you. And we sow a gift into you every single month. This month, our gift is how to turn your faith loose by Kenneth E. Hagan. Uh, we sow into our partners. Partnership has its privileges. Man, this was a phenomenal service today. Can I say it? this though, but even if you're watching and you are local, you can also go to that webpage and you can partner with us locally also, which means you'll meet in the building once we resume that. However, you can become a partner local also, so be considerate. And I know this word has touched your heart, so if you want to hear teaching like this, all the time. Yeah. Revelations is dropped. We invite you. Absolutely. And we also have a YouTube page. So you can go to the YouTube page. Uh, you heard us talk about the teaching on the seat. S sit in your seat. Think from your seat. Don't leave your seat. I'd, I would encourage you to go to our YouTube page and uh, you can listen to those. They're also coming out on podcasts. We're all about excellence for the kingdom. We're about excellence for the kingdom. We're about excellence for the kingdom. And so there are lots of ways for you to connect to this house, connect to the assignment that's on our lives. Father, we thank you for this service today. We thank you for every person who is watching. We thank you right now, Father, that you are the mead needer. Mead, need, need, need meter. How about provider. that? You are the provider. You are the provider. And so we declare that whatever they need in their house, God, that it show up supernaturally. Things are taking place for people. We thank you now. We thank you now. We, we declare divine healing. Shanda. Yeah, if you got pain in your body, anywhere in your body, put your hands on it now. We declare, we declare that Jesus was wounded for your transgressions. He was bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement of your peace was upon him, and by his stripes, you are healed. Let the healing power of God flow through your body now. Touch it and receive it. If you got any kind of addictions, we declare that they are broken now. With deliverance, 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 deliverance is yours. We declare it's broken now. Every addiction, broken now. Every stronghold, broken now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. We thank you, man. That's that's good. I think that's so. All right. So then, 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 then I guess if we're through, we're going to read Galatians. I, well, I'm going to read Galatians 9 and 10. And it says, and let us no, not. No, Galatians chapter. Chapter 6 and 9 and 10. And let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. faith. 
I'm Pastor Donna Porter. I'm Pastor Billy Porter. Hey, and you have joined us today. This is Household of Faith Ministries. We are located in Raleigh, North Carolina, and we are so glad that you came to worship with us today. We will be here again this week. We have Bible study on Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have corporate prayer Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then service Sunday mornings, 10.30 a.m., uh, uh, Eastern Standard Time. You don't want to miss what God's doing at the house because God comes to the house. Amen. Glory to God. We teach the word and, and we love, love the, the people. people. Everybody have a phenomenal, God phenomenal bless. day. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.